Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I'd like to talk today about the films of George Cukor. With a career starting in 1930 and ending in 1981, George Cukor enjoyed one of those longest and most prolific careers in the history of Hollywood. He was known as a woman's director because he was so skillful in directing female casts, but his films just span every type of genre, all the way from A Bill of Divorcement uh, in 1932, which was Katherine Hepburn's first movie, Dinner at Eight, which is one of the great um, MGM all-star spectacle movies. Do you know that the guy says that machinery is going to take the place of every profession? Oh, my dear. That's something you need never worry about. And then, of course, he was very famously fired from Gone with the Wind, uh, which he started in 1939, which was finished by Victor Fleming, but which he sort of ghost-directed from his home, where most of the players would stop by before the shooting in the morning, except for Clark Gable, who was perfectly happy with Victor Fleming. And the players would stop by his house, and he would give them tips on how to shoot for that day. Um, and as he once said, if you can survive being fired from Gone with the Wind, you can survive anything. Uh, he went on to direct films like Two-Faced Woman with Greta Garbo, A Double Life with uh, Ronald Coleman, Adam's Rib, Born Yesterday, Pat and Mike, and Let's Make Love, Marilyn Monroe's Last Abortive Vehicle, Something's Got to Give, and in his final years, My Fair Lady in 1964, which won the Academy Award for Best Film of the Year, although some people considered it kind of stage-bound. The first Soviet-American co-production called The Bluebird. His very last film was Rich and Famous in 1981, when he was the oldest working director in Hollywood. He's been called the master of elegance. His films are always highly polished to a high sheen, an absolute professional in all he did. Uh, one of the first openly gay directors in Hollywood who basically did not, you know, make any apologies for this at all. And he brought a unique sensibility to American cinema at a time when the concerns of women, for example, were not as well explored as they might have been, but they were in the films of George Cukor. My name is Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.